Hello dear students. I welcome you back for the BIC's Karnataka PUC CET show in which we are now focusing for the examination training packet series of first PUC 2016 exams. I am going to talk in this episode also in continuation with the previous one, the concept of hydrocarbons. This is the second episode of hydrocarbons. So now let us focus for the next important concept of hydrocarbons after being learning the process of chlorination of reaction mechanism of chlorination of methane. Now the second important focus point that we should be learning is about Wood's reaction. This name Woods reaction, you should have to write it as W U R T Z. Woods reaction is a very important reaction for both first PUC 2016 exam as well as for understanding the concept in second year PUC. Second year PUC also children, you will be getting this particular reaction repetition with few more added examples to that. In Woods reaction, we come across different types of questions. One set of question will be direct and other set will be like the application questions of Wood's reaction. In the classroom session associated, I will explain to you each with an example so that the concept is being better understood by you and also will be writing and explaining to you what is expected out of you to be written in the exam to match as per the scheme of valuation. Come, let us go to the classroom session to understand about different types of questions on Wood's reaction. Yes, children, as I was telling you about Wood's reaction, this is another very important reaction from the examination point of view. There are two sets of Wood's reaction I was telling you priorly about this. Let us discuss each set one after the other. The first question of our discussion which is very important for this 2016 first PUC exam is explain Wood's reaction with an example. This question will be asked for two marks. Now children let us find out what should be the answer to get this complete two marks. Look at this. Alkyl halides on treatment with sodium metal in dry ether. These are the two important set of conditions we should maintain. We should take into consideration sodium metal and that should be treated in presence of dry ether solution. Then what is the research? It's going to yield us higher alkane. It means what? Alkyl halides or haloalkanes Two similar molecules of them we need to be always considering and talking. When alkyl halides are treated with sodium metal in presence of dry ether, it always results in the formation of higher alkane. It is this reaction which we call it by the name as Wood's reaction. So therefore we have explained what is Wood's reaction. Now this question asks us to give an example and explain. So now here we are taking the example of alkyl halide. I have considered bromomethane. Two similar molecules of bromomethane. They are treated with metallic sodium in presence of dry ether. So we have fulfilled these three set of conditions. We have taken alkyl halides, similar molecules and we are treating it with sodium metal and we are carrying out this reaction in presence of dry ether. It is going to yield as a higher alkane and what is that higher alkane? That is ethane. Along with ethane, what is it? We are going to get, we are going to get sodium bromide salt as well. So this reaction has fulfilled the conditions of Wood's reaction and as per the Wood's reaction we have obtained ethane. Children, another important point I want you to remember here and note down is that Wood's reaction is an example of ascent series reaction. Now what is this ascent series reaction? They are the reactions in which we find there is increase with respect to carbon chain length. Now let us see what is the significance of this 
puts reaction this might be an added question for this in case if it if this point is being added and asked then that question will be asked for three marks also they might add you along with this explain what's reaction with an example to that they can add what is its significance or where is it used for any of this question the answer that you can be writing is what's reaction is used in the preparation of higher alkanes this is a point of focus containing another important point even number of carbon atoms so these two are the highlighted points where you can you can where you can describe about the significance of wood's reaction namely it is used in the preparation of higher alkanes containing even number of carbon atoms now let us understand regarding the application of wood's reaction question now previously i told you direct question about the wood's reaction wherein we learned what happens during wood's reaction now here is this another examiner's choice question you can be either getting this instead of that now what is this question really what happens when isobromide isopropyl bromide is subjected to wood's reaction give equation so you might even have a question like this instead of a direct question again this question is asked for two marks to help you to understand this concept i have already written the equation you are supposed to write the equation and the explanation that i am going to tell you now first let us write what is isopropyl bromide structure will be either you can write structure like this or structure like this both of them are isopropyl bromide isopropyl bromide is trivial nomenclature 2 bromopropane is its iupac name now with this structure you can understand how it is 2 bromopropane for the second carbon atom bromo that is the halogen is attached now here either you can go with the numbering like this from bottom to the side or you can come like this in either of the case this carbon atom to which bromine is attached will be getting the locant as 2 so therefore it is called 2 bromo propane so either you can write like this or like this to help you to understand how the product is being formed i have taken up this structure now look at the structure equation for wood's reaction to happen we should i already told you should take two similar molecules of alkyl halides into consideration now this is one molecule of 2 bromopropane and this is another molecule of 2 bromopropane now it is treated with sodium metal in dry ether solution so what happens now sodium bromide gets eliminated from this that means it gets formed and it moves out of the structure then what's that we are left with ch3 ch to which this ch3 is attached so this part is that structure then from here there is an attachment with this much of structure ch attached with ch3 on both the sides ch attached with ch3 on both the sides now what is the name of this structure anyway you can give the locant because it's a symmetrical structure so what is that you are going to get the name of this compound as you can see with respect to the second carbon atom and the third carbon atom it is attached with the methyl group there are two methyl groups so therefore you should call it as dimethyl and in the linear chain that is in the parent chain there are four carbon atoms which are saturated so therefore the root word is but because it is saturated a is the suffix to be added so all put together what is the name of the compound that we are going to get it's going to end as 2,3 dimethyl butane as the end product when 
2 bromopropane is subjected to Wood's reaction. So, what is the answer that you are supposed to be writing? What happens when isopropyl bromide is subjected to Wood's reaction? It undergoes Wood's reaction resulting in the formation of 2,3 dimethyl butane. That is the one line word or statement you are supposed to be writing. Then give equation. So this is how we are expected to write the equation. And below the equation you are supposed to write the name of the compound without fail. Since I have written here, I have not shown you this yet. It is the same structure. So practice this also. This is an application question of Wood's reaction. Now children that you have understood about the different types of questions, the direct as well as the application questions of the Woods reaction. I want you to be keep practicing this until I meet you in the next episode of the concept of hydrocarbons. Thank you.